Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot and this is going to be the um, spread for the month of January 2019 for the Sun, Moon and Rising Sign of Scorpio. Happy New Year Scorpio to all of you. I hope it brings you many blessings this coming year. All right. I'm going to be doing um, a Celtic cross and pulling oracles as well. So Scorpio, please just give me a moment here to get your cards ready. Okay, give me just a second, Scorpio. I'm going to do um, an energy oracle as well for further clarification for you. Thank you, Spirit. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign for January 2019. And this one wanted to come out, and we have the world. This is beautiful because I'm already seeing several uh, new beginnings and opportunities for you guys for January. So... Very nice. I'm also going to pull an Earth Magic Oracle as well. Thank you, Spirit. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign Spirit for January 2019. Unfoldment. Very nice. Lotus Flower. Very nice. And I'm also going to pull one Life Purpose as well. Spirit, what do you have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign for January 2019? Thank you, Spirit. Infinite abundance. You're fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose. Very nice. Very nice, Scorpio. Very nice. All right. Okay, Scorpio, this is an intuitive uh, reading. Um, this will not resonate with everyone. Please take what does and leave what doesn't for someone else. Um, let's get on with the reading. I'm going to go ahead and start with your oracles. So, all of these cards, they, they go together right here, your oracles. Um, when I'm seeing this unfoldment right here, I don't know if you can see it or not. This is a hand that has like the sun in, you know, it's coupling the sun right there. And then the lotus flower to me is just like layers of a beauty unfolding. So I feel like um, this, the start of January 2019 for you, Scorpio, there's going to be um, new beginnings, you know, unfolding for you. Um, beautiful opportunities and receiving the world card as well is the it's just you know I, I feel like you have the world in the palm of your hand uh, the starting of this new year of 2019 in January um, you're gonna have new opportunities I feel like karmic uh, you've been on a karmic cycle Scorpio and I feel like um, you're starting a new one. The old karmic cycle is gone, and now you're starting a new, and it's in your favor um, with new beginnings coming in here. I feel like you're going to be very favored this year, uh, Scorpio. That's the energy I'm getting because you have new life cycles starting here, new beginnings, and they're all very positive. I feel like you have went through uh, some hard times in the past as well. And, you know, receiving this uh, infinite abundance card here um, is telling me that the divine and your, your angels are guiding you and supporting you along your way 
along your way this month as well and throughout the year. So this is very this is a very fruitful card as you can see. This reminds me of the cornucopia card um, that's in the energy uh, oracle deck. This is what this reminds me of. You just it, it you're I mean you're receiving a lot of abundance and and doesn't necessarily I, I feel like this is monetary as well as spiritual abundance too um and love and happiness uh this month so i mean this is very nice um the heart of the matter the situation starting out for you in january of 2019 scorpio is seven of spring and it, this card is saying be assertive don't back down from what you believe courageously stand up for yourself so I also feel like this is a card where you have the upper hand possibly in a situation this month Scorpio where it is important for you to make sure that you stand your ground and you do what you feel and intuitively is best for you um, what's crossing you is the five of spring Scorpio and this says I'm trying to get that glare off of there opposing goals arising from differing opinions feeling at odds with yourself or others overly ambitious people so there again um this is just clarifying this one it's make sure you know i, I feel like you're going to come across to others that may not quite agree with you or um possibly you guys may not be thinking on the same page and i really feel like what this is saying this is going to be a challenge for you Go ahead and stand your ground, Scorpio, because you intuitively, instinctively know what you're doing. You know what's right, and people might try to persuade you to um, want you to think that... Uh, what is the word I'm looking, here, looking for here? Uh, I feel like others are going to want you to accept their ideas or their beliefs in this month or want you to go their way. And you know which way you need to go. And their way is not going to, you know, line up with what you're doing. And you know this. And I feel like it's very important that you go ahead and you take up for yourself and stand your ground. You know, you don't have to agree with everyone, right? Um, it, it's it's okay to disagree with someone else's ideas or, or thoughts or say on something. It's very important that you go with your, your guts this month. Uh, Scorpio because you know what's right for you um, what's in your mind right now what's crowning you uh, this month is the three of winter reach out to others for comfort and love you will grow stronger from this situation sadness that will lead that will heal with time sorry about that um, so what I'm getting with this this is what's going on in your mind Scorpio like I said, I, I feel like you're coming out of a, a karmic cycle that has ended and you're starting anew um, and things are starting to unfold for you, all right, in the month of January. And I feel like with this unfoldment, with this new cycle, it's leaving things that no longer served you in the past. And that doesn't mean that it wasn't painful to maybe leave certain situations or people behind. You know what I mean with that? To move forward with your life. Um, it, it's left you with maybe a sadness in your heart. Because you, you've, you're you seeking out your own. You're standing your ground and you're going with what your instincts are telling you to do. And like I said, with this challenge being here, people are going to be wanting to oppose you. And maybe be argumentative maybe not wanting to agree with you and it's going to leave you maybe feeling sad this month this could be past as well that you're thinking about or this this three of winter could have to do with these people that are opposing you as well and it's like you're not going to agree with them you're going to stand your ground you're going to go with what's what's good for scorpio right um i, I feel like this month you guys are going to start taking care of yourself nurturing scorpio making sure that you're number one because you can't, in no matter what situation, Scorpio, that you do find yourself in, if you're not taking care of you and making sure that you're taking care of your physical and mental and spiritual needs, you, you're not going to be any good for anyone else anyway. And I feel like that you're going to be, real. you've already realized that in this uh, 
in this month you're really going to be taking care of Scorpio because what's driving you what's down here in your foundation is a beautiful card the Sun plans that work out perfectly amazing ideas that lead to rewards and commendations gratitude for the blessings of life that's beautiful Scorpio so this is what this is what's driving you you know you're going in the right direction you know what you're doing you I mean you know what's unfolding in your life you already see it you feel it and it's driving you and I just I feel like like I said you're gonna a lot you're gonna be taking care of you this uh, uh, I feel like a lot uh, the, in this month of January and I feel like this is gonna this is gonna go uh, bleed on over into uh, February even possibly the rest of this year of 2019 Scorpio is going to be taking care of Scorpio uh, first right um, it's very important now in your recent past we have the king of winter and this is knowledgeable experienced fair-minded unemotional get advice from someone professional and objective publicly speaking unemotional relationships so this right here clarifies what's going on and I really feel like this could be as well um, a Gemini Libra or Aquarius that you've dealt with or that someone that has given you um, some advice but honestly Scorpio I feel like you're coming like I said this karmic deal that you're coming out of and you're starting a new karmic karmic cycle um, that's unfolding for you I feel like this is your energy you've taken charge because like I said right here at the center of your reading we have you taking a stand and you having the upper hand of this situation and when you have this is also uh, this thinking and this mental energy that's going on in your mind as well um, I, I feel like this is your energy okay and I, I feel like you, I feel like a lot of you Scorpios are gaining control back over your life and over a situation where you felt like you didn't have the upper hand or that you wasn't in control over your own life, your, you know, your situation, and you're taking that back in January. And what's beautiful about this is the new circumstance um, of this uh, reading and of this month is the Ace of Spring. It's time to take action, be fearless, and happily pursue, pursue your most treasured dreams, amazing career opportunities. Again, look at this. This is beautiful. This whole reading is all um, circled around you doing what's best for Scorpio, um, taking a stand. You have a beautiful opportunity awaiting you, and it, it's fixing to unfold and show itself to you. This is like a spark of life. This is a gift. This is a seed that's been planted and the universe is telling you to nurture it because there's amazing opportunities for you, Scorpio, ahead. And, and I mean, it's unfolding very quickly. Um, what you need to know, okay, is the Ten of Winter. The resolution of difficulties, a weight lifted off your shoulders, the end of an addiction or codependency. Now, see, this is what's very interesting right here. See, when you go back here to your recent past, right? And like I said, you have cycles. I'm sorry about this glare, you guys. The sun is just shining bright this morning. Um, you have this, I really feel like, like I said, you've ended a cycle. Maybe you left somebody that wasn't certain you know that wasn't in your best interest it wasn't serving you know you was in a relationship or a situation that wasn't serving you at all Scorpio and I feel like you know this could have been somebody that was codependent on you that wasn't healthy for you so you could have had somebody in your life that had addictions as well that you had to get away from this could have been you as well you could have been fighting an addiction or having a codependency problem but I honestly feel like this is somebody that you had to get away from maybe or a situation that was very unhealthy for you um, and when I'm looking at your environment here um, I don't necessarily see this as a person in your environment I see this as you 
This is you, your energy, Scorpio. This is your reading. This is what's going on in your environment. You have the emperor right here. Use logic and structure to increase your success. Get organized. A firm but compassionate leader. You see where you, you, you are taking on leadership. You're taking control of your life to start this new cycle, this new uh, beginning that you have that's unfolding for you, Scorpio. And this is very, this is a very structured card. This is a firm foundation. This is things that are built on um, positivity and structure, leadership. This could be a business. And I feel like this is you, Scorpio. And this is this is just beautiful. This is very amazing. I feel like, like I said, many of you are are rocking it in January. I mean, you're you're starting the new year out for you, looking out for Scorpio, and you're going to take on the world this month. You know, you this is beautiful, and you see that heart with the glow around it that's in his hand, and you see the world right here. And what do we have? You know, right here, you guys, this is the world, okay? This is not the moon. This is the world up there. I feel like a lot of you have the world in the palm of your hand, and it's literally saying this right here, Scorpio. You do have the world in your hand this month, this year. I, you know, these readings, that you know, timing... Um, you know, I'm doing this for January 2019. I'm telling you, this could be the, for the rest of the year as well for many of you. I'm really getting that because you have a lot of major um, cards here, major arcana that is just beautiful and positive. And this is long lasting, I feel like, for you, Scorpio. Um, your hopes and fears. And your hopes and fears. You have Ace of Winter. Don't be deterred. By challenges along the way. It's important to communicate clearly and accurately. Amazing new ideas that should be implemented. All right, so I feel like for many of you, um, there's been a time where, you know, here in your recent past that you've gained clarity on what's going on in your life, what you want. Um, this clarity very well could have caused some fear, Scorpio. But I don't see it. I, I see this fear is driving you. I, I really feel like it's driving you in a positive way. Um, I really feel like that, you know, by the end of this month, even going into February 2019, you're going to have so much clarity and I, I really, on your life, about having this world in the palm of your hands and using this logic and the knowledge that you have gained um, from the past and everything that's unfolding that you that you've got going on for you, Scorpio, you're going to surpass anything that has been hindering you, holding you back, any situation, any person. Um, you're not. You're going to let it go. You're going to have clarity on it, and you're not going to have. I mean, I really feel like a lot of you are going with your instincts here, and you do have the upper hand on this. You're not going to let anyone hinder you. You you are going to face some challenges with um, people that come across your path, but you're going to be able to stand your ground, and you're going to be able to hold yourself. Um, you're going to stand firm, and you're not going to put up with it. You're not going to put up with any negativity, and I feel like... This is more of a hope instead of a fear with you guys. If it is fear, like I said, it's it's driving you and you're going to be able to conquer it. But I, I feel like you have a lot of hope inside of you that, you know, because now you have clarity. The light has been shined in, you know, on your situation and you know where you're headed. You know where you're going and you see clearly now, especially with this sun too. You, the shot, you know, you can see clearly I mean, this is an amazing reading, Scorpio. This is beautiful. Um, you know, by the end of the month, you know, like I said, time is fluid. You have this queen of winter, this strong, patient, self-sufficient, funny, let go of people or things that no longer serve you. Now is the time to focus on your career, unmarried or, divor or divorced individuals. Now... Like I said, Scorpio, I feel like this is your energy again. I really do feel this. Or you possibly could have been with 
um, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and now you're you're separated or divorced. This could have very well been this person that you needed to get away from that was codependent or uh, had addiction problems, or this could be you and you have air in your chart. Um, is what I'm getting as well. But you see what this says. This is what I've been saying this whole reading now leading up to this. This is how this is going to be your energy by the end of this. And this is beautiful. You can't get any better than this, Scorpio. This is awesome. I mean, I, I really feel like, you know, that's why this three of winter, what's going on in your head right now, what's crowning you, uh, you do have some sadness there. But you're healing from it, and I, I really feel like you're you're picking up the pieces, and you, you're moving forward from whatever, however this resonates with you, and you're going to shine. You're really going to shine um, throughout this month, and you, like I said, you're not going to let anybody get in your way, Scorpio. Scorpio, this was a very nice reading, very, very positive and beautiful reading, and I'm going to thank you so much, you guys. And Scorpio, thank all of you for that view and subscribe to my channel. Um, I send you love and blessings, and I thank you so much. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.